Hello, welcome to Bread and Bagel Bag Plastic Yarn Yarn Tutorials. I'm Erin Halverson and welcome to Rag Rugs by Erin. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be making plastic yarn or plarn as many people are calling it. However, I'm making it not with grocery sack bags. I'm making it with bread and bagel bags. These get thrown out and I threw some other older women that said years ago their grandmothers um, made rugs with um, bread and bagel bags. I thought, well not bagel bags, but bread bags. I thought, I'm going to do that. That's a little different. Let me see how that turns out. So this is made out of one bagel bag and I cut it in one piece. So I'm going to show you this technique and how to join them together. This is a bread and bagel bag rug that we, you can see in another tutorial how to actually make this. Very, very simple. And these were the two types that I used. These get eaten a lot in my house and so um, I thought these colors looked fun and happy together so I went ahead and did this. You can do just a smattering of different things but this is how I did mine. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Well, I think the cameraman wants to see just a little bit better close up and I think he's probably right. I rush a little bit. So there you go. This is really fun. So here's what the finished product looks like, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to cut it in one strip and also how to attach it, how I found a little different way than how I do my sheet yarn. Because if you've watched me before, most of my rugs are made out of sheets um, and sheet yarn and some out of t-shirts, but uh, this is a little different. So Mr. Cameraman, if you'd come around to the side over here, we'll go ahead and get started. Of course, you need a good pair of scissors, and this is really important in this one. You want a good, sharp pair of scissors in order to do this. So I'm right-handed, so I fold this out flat and I fold this up and make sure the open end is on the right hand side since I'm right handed. You just fold it up however you feel comfortable and I leave about an inch, maybe a little bit more, up at the top where it's not folded. Okay? Try to do it flat and smooth. Then I come over to the end, holding this in place, and I trim off this excess. Okay? So it's all even. So then I just discard that. Then I cut these strips into approximately two inches, not exactly, and I just eyeball it. You cut it all the way through. Make sure you get all that through right there. Okay, and go just hold it, keep it in place, move down a little bit, and cut your next one. And keep moving down until you've gotten, make sure they come loose. And these aren't exact. So no two pieces are going to be exactly the same. I'm doing it in the slow version. When I'm sitting and doing it, I'm doing it in front of television, and I'm snip, 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 and on I go. So I'm trying to do the slower version, be a little bit more particular. Now, see, I'm down to this, and I'm thinking, I just want to split the difference there in general. But I'm going to trim a little off this end, so I'm going to lean it just a little bit to this side. Okay. Then what I do is I flip this over, and you can do it any way you want but I flip it over and looking at it, make sure it's even, and I trim just the very bottom part of it off and discard it. Okay, so now this is what you have all cut like this. Now let me show you the next really cool way to do this. You open it up, and this is like the spine or the backbone. Okay, see that down there in the middle? Watch this really interesting technique. It looks a little confusing, but once you've done it a couple times, it comes a second nature. We're going to be cutting this on an angle. I'm going to be coming from here and cut up to meet this first cut. Then I get in here, and the next cut, I'm cutting at an angle. And since I'm right-handed, I cut from top, a bottom to top, on a upward angle. See how this is coming? I'm going to do a bagel bag too. You can do any kind of bag. I've even used in frozen broccoli bags and, and pea bags. They're just not as big and as long as it doesn't have sauce or something like in that. I take my bags and rinse them out inside out, let them dry in the strainer, and then flip them over a couple times and put them to the side. Okay, so you see I keep on repeating the exact same thing. 
It is as simple as that. To get to the end, it's just a little bit different on the end, and each piece of bread bag or was cut just a little bit different. Okay, on this one, we happen to have two pieces here. This one is a lot more colorful than this one, so I am actually going to separate it right here, let that fall down here, and cut off this other piece so it's one long strip. Okay, this is more color, and I'm looking for more color. So here we have it, one long strip of plarn. Okay, now I'm going to do one more. You could even do it with these small bags. Here's a, a bean bag. Um, you could trim it off, do it exactly the same way. Here's a, a Walgreens bag that someone collects. I don't like to have quite as much clear, so I cut a little bit of the clear off. But I still use this and get that nice red and white in there. So there's lots of different things you can do. All right, we're going to go one more and repeat it so you can see it close up again. So you have it here. On the right hand side you've got the, the end there. You're going to fold it up, follow the same principle. I'm going to go just a little faster. Cut off that end. Choose about two inches. You can see how once you get the groove of this, this is quite fast. And let me see, I think I'm going to just do two more and then again I tell you on the end I flip over, trim that very end off, throw that away, open it up and again starting from the right side make sure you have this, see this little place along here, some place where there's an, open it up. We're going to start from the right hand side, the lower end, we're going to come at an angle Sometimes you, I hope you can see that with the clear. Just give it a little piece off there. Here we're sticking into this and coming across. And you can go up, over, and make sure you stay tuned so I can show you how I add them to each other because I do it a little different than I've seen other people and I find it it doesn't cause as much stress to the join pieces. So give me just another moment and we'll get to that and I'll show you. Okay, so we're here to the last one. Now this one, again this one had it like this but I'm just going to cut this piece out now. That way I can get the, as much of it as possible. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how I join them. I will straighten off the edges and throw that away. Find the other end and throw that away. This is my trick. That's why it's important to have it about two inches. I fold this in half, the long ways, and then I fold it down like this. And I snip this little corner, ever so small, and I give you this diamond shape here. Okay, let's do it again. You want to see it? Diamond shape. Okay, let's just see it on here. So you can see what that looks like. Now let's do it again on the other end. Fold it in half. Or you do it the other way. I did it the opposite way. As long as it gets folded in half, folded in half, and then meet the ends. So you're making this little square almost. You're cutting out the little, and there we go. We have another diamond. Okay? So now we're going to do it to the other one, and then we'll join these pieces together. I told you I straightened it off. Throw that away. Fold it. Fold it the other direction, making sure you kind of keep it together. So at the point, snip it off. There's your triangle. Let me do another one. This one seems to be a little wider, which is no problem. Fold it again. There's your little diamond. Okay, now we're going to join them together.
you're going to take one piece and feed it through the little diamond. Then take the end of the piece that you're adding. So this is, you can tell because of the color, it's different colors. This is the one that's being added. We're going to take the other end and we're going to feed it through the other end of the same piece, making almost like a loop. And you're going to pull this through. Remember it is plastic, so be a little gentle. You can't rip it like you can do this similar, only I just do a slit when I do sheet yarn um, or t-shirt yarn. But on this, I found that the triangle doesn't cause as much friction, and it's a much better way to attach. You know, this is trial and error for me, and once I figure it out how the best way to do it is, then I teach you. So I continue to pull this. And there we have it. It's joined. Let's join one more piece and show you again. We're going to add this other color, even though I will probably take this back off because it's not the right colors for that rug that I'm working on. Fold this in half. Fold it again. You have your little corner. You have your diamond made. Take the other end. It's already straightened. Fold it in half. Fold it again. Make your little snip. There's your diamond. Okay, so we're going to add this orange and yellow piece to this purple piece. So the piece that we're adding, we're going to feed through the piece that's already there. You're going to feed it through. You're going to take the other end of the one you're adding and feed it through itself. Again, pull it through. Now you can make this up ahead of time. I don't make it up too far in advance, to be very honest with you. Um, I did that before. I didn't like doing that as much on this particular. I kind of do it as I go to a certain extent. I may do four or five pieces, but that's it. Then you pull it. And you're ready to begin. This is your sheet yarn. Okay. I recommend that you use... I try different needles over and over. If you see my videos, I try the Q and I try a 6. Um, this is an N or a 10 millimeter. And again, I found this was my preference um, needle size. So thank you for joining me. And please join me for um, my uh, bread and bagel bag rag rug. Um, and I'll show you how to put this together and make your own rug. Thank you.